<sighs> hello, yet again. Hello, hello, hello. Right. The plan is, hello, welcome. I've had loads of technical issues, issues today. Uh, it's just not been going well at all. I don't know what happens. I'm, it's a fucking new phone. Um, I'll have to get back to the house and get it on the computer. Empty the frigging thing. I've had trouble like that for the last year or so. With data. Obviously because I do so many videos. <sighs> I try to avoid the cloud. But whatever that is, paying for it. So it goes into the computer, into the... I'm not really all that into com I don't really know that much about computers. So I get help. Anyway, anyway, welcome to the channel! Welcome! Welcome to the channel! So far I haven't been shot by any angry farmers. Uh, that reminds me, that could be a bit of a problem if I went abroad. You know, in Scotland, we can kind of roam. You know, oh look! The access road. Uh, well, it'd be better going that way. Walking up the access road. I've done it a strange way. Uh, so what, one of the things about the new phone, this is the old phone you're on now, is you get a better picture. When I go like that, the other one does a smoother, you know, like, I've seen people doing videos and go like that. Like that. Oh look, oh look at that. Oh look at that. That. But the, the other phone does it in a more smooth way, so I'm just wondering if there's settings on this one that can make it go smoother. Now that'll be the Bannock Burn. Yep. That's where that is. The Bannock Burn. It's a bannock burn! Yay! And the crags, that's the crags up there. You said it would take two hours to get up there, this guy that I met was walking his dog. I don't think he realises just how fit I am. Yeah, I'm super fit. I mean, uh, I probably would have been as well walking up there. Uh, I don't know, it would have taken a while. <sighs> See if the other phone's going to behave. I've tried switching it off and on again. Nah. Nah, it's not behaving. Don't know if I can manage to get a couple of pictures out of it. Uh, okay. I would walk around there, but um, Jesus, look at that water coming out of there. Which side do we go up? We could go. I uh, go through the gate. Uh, it's doing a picture. Right, let's go on with this. Let's get on! It's all doing what it's supposed to do, isn't it? Just think, this is all man-made. This. Uh, That would be old as well, this bit here. Old, yeah, very old. Can I walk up on that bit? It was a bit muddy. So here we are, we're at North Third Reservoir. Uh, something I've wanted to do since I moved here. If this phone packs up, I'm going to go effing mental. Uh, I had trouble with it, the other phone yesterday and I thought I'd fixed it and I haven't. Uh, it's 
So I saw the water for uh, for my bath. I always had on to this thing properly. Wow, look at this. It's all in good condition. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Oh, look how. Is that just the level it goes up to? Hey, look who's wild camping there. I can't see in. No, how'd you get in there? It'd be easy to get in there. That'd be fucking terrifying. Wild camping in there. Oh God, there's no fucking weird guy. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wild camping in there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Who knows what else is in there? It's like starting to get actually genuinely scared. Genuinely scared. Right, up the steps. I'm knackered. Ah. 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 Oh, look. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Right. I've just climbed up there. There's the crags. Right, see what it says. Grangemouth Town Council and Stirling Waterworks Commissioners. The enlarged reservoir was opened 25th of July 1934. My parents were both alive then. Depths of, depth of reservoir to 49 feet. Right, right. So that was 1934. Provost James Glogue, Grangemouth. Provost James F. McIntosh, Stirling. Judge John W. Hartley, Convener of Works Committee. They're all top men. This is back in the day before you had all this stupid uh, feminist crap. And these guys, you know, would have been high up there. Well, not necessarily, but they'd have been, you know. The, the hierarchical structure works hand in hand with competence. But uh, I accept some people are incompetent who get up places that shouldn't be. So that's happening even more now. So shut up, what are you going on about? Right, David B. Morris, Town Clark, Stirling. Warren and Partners, MM Inst. What's that? Institute Civil Engineers, Glasgow. J. J. and P. McLaughlin Limited. Contractors, Larbert. And there it is. So it's this big slab of concrete. Padlock. Right. right. So we made a reservoir. Look at that old gate. Gate. I mean, I take it this would be the original gate, um, which would make it. Oh shit! Ah! 
Okay, that's in <laughs> That was irritating. There's been a bit of shift somehow, because that doesn't go. That doesn't actually go down there now. Right. So where are we now? Uh, don't know how the time's doing. Let's check the time. Uh, I'm getting some pictures out of the other phone. Probably get some short videos. Uh, oh, what the hell is all this? This thing's driving me mad. Technology has its ups and downs. And I suppose at the end of the day, it was proper professionals that were doing stuff with. Now any old numpty can get equipment and you know, <laughs> go out and making films and stuff. Right, it's quite weird if you think, when you see like my my name and my video on YouTube and it'll come up. What I'm saying is the perspective of 40 years ago that you'd have a choice between watching me or Clint Eastwood. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like, wow. So you see, you're offered on YouTube alongside Cl Clint Eastwood. <laughs> yeah. So, it depends which way you look at the whole thing. It's it's how it's all changed, uh, hasn't it? It's all changed. Uh, uh. I keep hearing voices. So the car's up, right up there, right there somewhere. So the car is. So I'm going to try and walk straight back there, just to now. Uh, I'll find out what time it is, my lunch is at 3 o'clock. Uh, that's passing them around here, so we'll come back up here again. Uh, what we'll do. Right, so it's, I think we're going to have to come back up again to fully appreciate the place. Land reformer, Scotland, that a right of reasonable access to land and water in Scotland. And so, if people care for the environment, take responsibility for your own actions, right? Well, I, I mean, take responsibility for your own actions. Now, the problem with some of the activism regarding push bikes and pedestrians is that they, they seem to think that because they're getting like little inroads and in, in that they're getting more, they think they're getting more legislation or whatever it is in their favour. There are actually some of them, and there's one or two of them actually communicated with me on YouTube, have, are not understanding their responsibilities. And that can be plainly seen in uh, some of the videos I've done some of the comments that this guy actually said pedestrians have right of way and I don't think he understood what that meant you know he thought that meant that they don't really have to bother about anything you know which is ridiculous you know if, so if you bring people up to believe that you're not helping them are you or they could just you know they don't have any responsibility they can just do whatever they want it's not helpful, you know. Right, so the next time I come up, uh, can you walk around it? Like a forest there. Let's see what. What? Let's see what. Shut up! Let's see what time it is. It's 12.53, my lunch is at 3. So, get back to the car by one. Yeah. No, 
No, it's, it's almost one. Goodbye by car by two. I wonder if I get time to walk around there. I don't even know if you can. It doesn't look like you can, does it? Uh, I'd have to go along there and look. So, uh, you know, what you're doing is you're spending time with me and if you don't want to, then don't, don't watch the videos. Uh, there's a lot of people who seem to be seriously angry all the time. I don't think you can get around there easily. Doesn't look like there's a path, does it? Uh, that path probably goes away up and around the crags. So why don't we come back up another time and walk back to the car? This way, that's what we'll do. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know if there's that many videos been done. I think uh, Barry Ferguson's been up here videoing. But I don't know if that people, not many people are really interested anyway, but um, it is important. Um, if you, aye, there's a video, he's done, I'll have a look at that when I get home actually. Um, don't know where he was. Barry Ferguson was maybe, I don't know where he took the video from. I'll go and have a look. I think it might have been up here actually. I mean, well, there's a couple of wee islands on it, and uh, a couple of wee islands. Uh, when it, it was something happened in Gatnam Dam. Which has hardly ever been on the news. Two guys drowned. Uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, fishing, and yet it's not really been on the news. It's on Google. If you Google it, you see it. Now that, and then you say, "Well, what are you talking about that for?" Well, it just a reminder of how dangerous water is. You know, uh, go on water. You know. And it's dangerous. You know? Um, so, that, that's really why I'm saying that. Mm. It's just that I have these ideas that I'll get like a dinghy, you know, go across the islands and everything. I want to do that sort of thing, yeah. But I could very quickly die uh, if I made some mistakes. Um, you know, on the on the waterways. I think I don't know anything about it, but my guess is that the guys that died were fishing. Well, I know they were fishing because I told that, uh, and their probably their clothing killed them. Um, probably waders, heavy coats. You know, you're in a boat. Something goes wrong, either gets overwhelmed with water or somebody falls out or leans over or something, I don't know. And then you need to get all that shit off. You know, the waders and heavy stuff. And it's because it's bloody cold, it's raining, it's wild. So that's probably what happened, sadly. Right, so, I'll put the other phone away because I don't want to drop it and we're going to walk across here I've got to get my hat in position it's actually quite windy It's 
first thing I've noticed about life is, as humanity is, you can't really, or maybe it's me, I can't really hang on to the same people for long. If you know what I mean, like, if you get in a group or something, I think there has to be some kind of natural change in it, where it, it changes. But without volatility, you know, you know, without fighting or as some people maybe can't really do it without fighting, you know, breaking away or, or being disappointed, you know, they don't like somebody's done or something or they feel that they're in the wrong. Uh, I mean, one thing, at least I'm getting some pictures with this other phone, even though the video thing was letting me down. Um, so I don't know what it, so they've been up here probably doing something, that's why the hair is fencing's up. So you better walk up and down the side of there. Okay then. Right, let's go. Let's see if we can get back up to the car. I mean, I'll come back up here again. This is actually quite interesting, I quite like this. Uh, so I think probably what we'll do is, oh, it's got a lot quieter here. Do maybe. Get some pictures of that thing for here. Thing we'll do. I want to end this video. Reservoirs are fascinating, aren't they? See the bit where all the water goes. So we'll get up to a specific level. Right, um, you can see, obviously the water's been a lot lower. What we'll do, this will be really interesting, we'll come back up here. Regular, well, I'll say regular, I'm not going to have time, but come back up when it's really low and get down there. Got some people there. Right, so. So thanks for watching this video. I'm going to end it there, folks. Ah, it'd be interesting to get a drone up here. <coughs> um, have another wee look over there before we go. There's people. They are there. Humans. Humans coming along. Right, from Chong and me, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Oh, welcome to the channel! Yeah. We're fucking leaving now, you fucking moron. Yeah, welcome! Oh. Welcome, let's build a fucking restaurant in our back garage. Oh, brown idea! <coughs> <coughs> Why do you talk so much shit? I don't know. Why are you looking at these people? I don't know, because it's fun. Uh, uh, if they're going to come around here. I don't know. So I can make it look like I'm looking at me. Um, yeah, I can. It's me I'm looking at. So... Uh, you're supposed to be ending the video, dickhead. So, oh, I'm so good looking. Nah. Somebody's got to think that. And it's me. So they're away along that way, hiking around. 
Uh, right, we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching. From North Third Reservoir. It's on behalf of the Ferguson clan and the Macbeth clan and Patterson Shortbread, uh, the Dow family. Who else have I got in my family tree? Well, in Stirling, I've got McLean's, I've got McGeekins, obviously Ferguson's. Uh, who else? Fisher, Martin. Um, Patterson's on both sides. I'm half a Patterson. I'm half made out of shortbread, and the other half's made out of caramel shortcake. Um, similar on my well, on my granddad's side, my mum's side, my granddad's side. I mean, my mum's side. Simmers, Gibbs, Iron side, Wiseman, Henderson, Anderson. This is Eastern Scotland names. Um, uh, Aberdeenshire. Well, my dad's from Stirling, so that's different. So he's probably more Scottish, if you like. If you want to look at it that way. Ferguson's, Macbeth's, Dow's. Well, I don't see Dow's not really. Where's that come from? I don't know. You know, it's central Scotland. And remember, this uh, Northumberland was actually came up quite far at one point. So this notion that everybody's speaking Gaelic's a bit iffy. Right, okay, right, so I'm away this time. Right, bye!